This is a Redstone Block II trainer missile operation conducted by Battery A, 2nd Missile Battalion, 333rd Artillery, 46th Artillery Group at Neckarsalm, Germany on October 14, 1960. In the following scenes, members of Battery A's servicing section are removing the cover off the Warhead Unit transport trailer. And here is the Redstone Missiles Warhead Unit resting on its transport trailer. Servicing Section personnel are now removing the cover from the aft unit's transport trailer. The aft unit housed the instrument compartment containing the missile's inertial guidance system. Servicing section personnel will now remove the missile's thrust unit transport trailer cover. And here we see the missile's thrust unit resting on its transport trailer. In parallel to servicing section tasks, firing section personnel are now unloading and hooking up missile power and signal electrical cable assemblies. And here we see the firing battery's 60 kVA diesel generator and power distribution trailer.
The servicing section will now mate the aft unit with the warhead unit to create the missile body. The mating of the two units is facilitated by the use of the battery's 5-ton wrecker truck. This time-saving procedure was developed and initiated by 40th Artillery Group shortly after its arrival in Germany in the summer of 1958. Prior to this, the two units were mated using the lightweight A-frame block and tackle rigging. The wrecker truck was driven and operated by one of the firing battery's motor pool personnel. Normally, three members of the firing battery headquarters section were assigned to the motor pool to perform overall vehicle maintenance and upkeep. Next, we see the special spreader bar and unique lifting bridle used to hoist the aft unit off of the transport trailer. We are looking into the skirt section of the aft unit at the lower pressure bulkhead of the pressurized instrument compartment. Inside the skirt section we see the two high pressure air spheres and the four motor actuators to drive the air vanes. The two spheres were pressurized to 3,000 psi. High pressure air jets were used to steer the body unit when it was above Earth's effective atmosphere. The high pressure air was also used for the air bearing surfaces of inertial guidance system components. The aft unit will now be mated to the warhead unit with the use of eight non-destructive bolts. The bolts are inserted through eight ball and socket guide fittings. These ball and socket fittings protrude from the warhead unit into the aft unit. The eight ball and socket fittings allow for precise alignment of the two missile sections. Each bolt was tightened to a specific inch-pound setting with the use of a torque wrench. And here is the completed missile body.